Hi and welcome back. Okay, in this video we're going to finalize our fixture plate. We're going to add some standard components. Uh, one of them I downloaded from the web. It's just a simple little toe clamp. So let's start with that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my assemblies folder here. I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it downloaded assets just to give it a name. And I'm going to right click on that folder. I'm going to go to my import export. I'm going to choose import file with conversion. And I'm going to choose my simple toe clamp here. And here it's just a parasolid file. Go ahead and validate bringing that in and you can see it's just a simple little clamp. Now because it's good practice I always run our healing wizard on anything that I import just to make sure that the geometry is valid there's nothing that can be simplified cleaned up what have you on that. Uh, one more thing that I'm going to do because I know that I'm going to position a screw on it is I'm going to make a quick little plane. It's going to be a mid plane between here and here. Perfect. And I'm going to publish the plane because again you'll see in a, in a minute here that uh, this will help with the position of other components. So I'm going to say publish plane, whatever we want to call it, doesn't really matter, and then I can hide those objects because I don't need to see them in this design document. Nice. So we'll go ahead and hit save. We'll close that. And now we're going to include this into our design and including a bottom-up component is quite simple. You literally drag and drop it and it's included. I know, pretty hard. I'm going to select that bottom face, position it on this face, and now I'm going to take this plane and position it relative to that plane, which puts it right on the center of my part, right? And now I'm going to take this front face to there, and I'm going to apply a little bit of an offset there. We'll say 3 8 why not? Oops, that went the wrong way. Double click to invert. And now we have our clamp right where we want our clamp, which is great. You can go a little further if you want. That's up to you. Say half inch. Now, from here, I'm going to validate the positioning and that is that. Next what I need to do is I need to start adding some standard components like a washer and some screws. And I need to add some a screw to hold this in. I need to add a screw to hold this down. We're going to add screws here and here, here and here, and then also over here on this final stage. So we have quite a few elements to add yet and we want to do that as fast as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up one of my managers here. This is my saved searches. And I'm going to start by looking for standard washers. So I'm just going to double click here and Top Solid's going to bring up and show me all my possible washers. And I'm just going to bring forward a plain washer. Perfect. Simple drag and drop. And here I want a half inch washer. And you know what? I don't want any positioning wizard in this case. So I'm going to cancel the wizard. We want the one half end. I'm going to locate it and I'm just going to position it. I'm going to take that plane onto here. We'll go ahead and take that center plane to this center plane. Perfect. And now what I want to do is I want to do a surface on a plane constraint. And that's super simple. I'm going to go right here. Surface, which is going to be the cylinder. And the plane is going to be right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it tangent, but tangent on the wrong side. So let's flip it. And then of course, with the surface on plane constraint, I can add an offset. And I'm going to say, let's offset that back maybe a half of an inch, maybe even a little bit more. Let's go three quarters. Kind of cool, but this way I'm offsetting this to kind of a standard value, which is nice. It's too much. I'm going to go with 5 eighths. I want more clamping pressure up front. Perfect. Like that, the washer is added. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add a screw. So let's go look in my save searches. And I'm going to go here to ANSI cap screws. Double click. And there's all of my various cap screws. And I'm just going to go with this standard coarse screw. So we'll drag and drop that in. This time, however, we will use a wizard. I want to use screw, but I want the head on top. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to position this right onto there. And finally, I'm going to have the software help me out. I'm going to look for a half inch diameter screw and I want to attach it to that plate. Now that's kind of cool. If you think about it, I was able to position that component quickly and have top solid do the work for me. When I validate here, Top Solid's even going to ask me what kind of process I want. Well, you know what? I want coarse clearance, but there's going to be no clearance. I do, however, want complete tapping because I believe that's going to be all the way through the plate. Eh, you know what? No, I don't need complete tapping. we got enough room there. Perfect. And like that, you can see the tapped hole is put in. Now, let's keep going while we're dealing with screws. We want to put in a screw here as well. So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop a screw in again. Again, we want screw head on top. We're going to position near to that circular object. We do want the half inch screw and we want to attach it to that plate right there. Perfect. 
green check, green check. And we're done. Now, maybe here we want to do a repetition of this. That's fine. So let's go ahead, go to construction, select our pattern type. We want to repeat this screw and we want to make a new pattern. Actually, we don't even need to make a new pattern. Let's just mouse over this because this one has a pattern from the design level. Perfect. Done. And the tappings have been put in as well. Now we want to continue on up to here. So let's go up to here, add the screw again. But are you guys getting the idea here? I mean, it is really, really fast and efficient to deal with standards in Top Solid. And by the way, did I mention these standards are included out of the box? So all you have to do is choose to use them. I mean, how nice is that? Let's go ahead and repeat this. Again, we're going to mouse over the same feature. There's that pattern again that's coming from the original design, which is awesome. Lastly, we're going to put something in down here. Let's go ahead and drag the component one more time. We're going to go ahead and position it right there. That looks good. And for the component, we're going to go to there. I like it. We're going to go ahead and validate that. Validate. Done. Here we will have to make a repetition because one doesn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and make a repetition. It will be simple and linear. It will be from the center of that feature to the center of that feature. There'll be two instances and we're done. So after just a few short minutes, I added an imported component, positioned it. I added all of the hardware to go with it. And like that, our fixture design is complete.